guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Fame Expo haul. I went last weekend and I was able to pick up so many goodies, a lot of good stuff that I wanted to put to use in a video and show you guys. Um, so I'm going to do a get ready with me. It's going to be a little bit different. I'm not just going to show you and swatch. I'm actually going to get ready with all the stuff that I bought. I went ahead and did this look for today's video. Very pretty, glittery, glam look. It is definitely full coverage, full beat, but I'm here for it. <laughs> and um, I really enjoyed the way it came out. I loved all the products that I got. I mean, you'll see my full reviews in this video but such such beautiful products and I'm so happy that I went I met a lot of nice people did a lot of shopping I will say <laughs> I did quite a bit of damage but surprisingly a lot of stuff was super affordable so if you are interested in getting this look or seeing what I bought in general please stick around as always I appreciate your guys's continued support and without further ado let's go ahead and get started Okay guys, so getting started with this video, I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. Um, we'll start with face makeup first and then go into the other products. So first priming my face of course with moisturizer, I'm going to be using Cerave Moisturizing Lotion. I've been using this forever and I love it. It's so good. Moisturizing, not too greasy. So I'm just going to place that on the, my palms and work this into my face. Um, I love this moisturizer because it's so refreshing. Moving into primers, um, so I'm going to be using Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This one's in the Radiance form and the Baby Skin um, or Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. So I'm going to be using these two today. And same thing, just putting a bit on the back of my hands. Rubbing this radiance one in first. So now that I have the radiance primer on, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Baby Skin just so that my pores aren't looking super huge today because I guess it was hot today. Don't need these pores coming through. So just rubbing this into my T zone area. I'm just working this in. Now um, I'm going to go ahead and spot conceal some areas I feel need a little bit more than usual right now. So going in with my Bye Bye Under Eye or It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Anti-Aging Concealer. I love this concealer for spot concealing because it is so um, full coverage. So I'm just going to go ahead place this right here, put it right here, and there you still need a little bit more concealing at the moment. So, just placing it like so. And then with my beauty blender, I'm just going to blend that into my skin. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Smooth in the shade 235 and I'm just going to place this on the back of my hand and then put it onto my face and then I'm just going to go ahead and scoop a little bit up on the spatula here and just kind of put some lines on my face I like moving my hair all away from my face while I put on foundation because I don't want you know my hair getting all in it so I'm going to place this on my face here And now I'm just blending that in with my beauty blender. I'm just gonna go all over my face and blend this out.
So I'm gonna be setting my face with the Cody Airspun loose fader, loose fader, loose face powder in translucent extra coverage. So just putting some in the lid there. It's a lot in the lid there. <laughs> and going in with a Morphe E3 four brush, just like a nice powder brush. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit the excess off and just pat this in the skin. Not really setting too much because we're going to go in with creams in a little bit, but just enough to set it so that it doesn't move and so it's nice and locked in. So, and I don't look like a grease ball. This will kind of help keep the oils at bay throughout the day for this kind of foundation because it is more of a dewy foundation. Definitely want to set it. So, just going in like so. It's not, it's not too matte, but it's not too glowy as it was like two seconds ago. So it looks good. It looks good. It looks good. And because my brows take so long, they're so grown out right now, they're a little difficult at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and do these off of camera so I don't take too much time and then I'll be right back. So my brows are done now, so I'm going to go ahead and go into the eyes, which I'm so excited about because I got so many good palettes from um, Fame, so I want to share those with you guys. So starting first with my primer, I didn't buy any primers there, so I'm just going to use what I normally use, which is the MAC Paint Pot and Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Painterly. I'm just going to use this to start my base on my eyes and going in with a Morphe E32 brush, it's kind of like a... Um, a flat dense uh, packing brush so I'm just going to use this to pack this on my eyes and then rub it in with my fingers so just placing this like so kind of just placing it messily so I can blend it in all over the eye no specific way just place it all over make sure I get everything covered so now I'm blending this in with my finger before it dries one thing that I've learned with these MAC um, paint pots and bases is that they do dry quickly. I mean, they work amazing, but they dry really fast. So just make sure you do it right away so it avoids any patchiness. At Fame, I did pick up something that I've been wanting to try for so long, but I just never got around to buying it. And it is the Melt Cosmetics Melt, um, Melt Stack. It is the Rust Stack by um, Eyeshadow. I guess you could call this the Rust. It's just a stack. So comes with one, two, three, four, five shades. This one's Blur. So I'm just gonna pick up this one here and lay that down on my lid. It's just a nice, pretty bone shade color. I'm just going to go ahead and set, place this all in here and just set that primer so that it's nice and set and ready for all the eyeshadow we're going to go in with. So do the same for the other eye. And this stack really quickly is really nice. I mean it has this color which is classic here, which is a nice pretty like um color that one's antique comes with this one here which is a more mustard brown and um, that one's called rubbish this one here which is a more terracotta red very pretty color and then um, rot which is a deep brown color so very pretty stack super excited to now own this I've been wanting these forever just never got around to buying it and splurging because it is a little pricey they're like 45 bucks so um, but I mean for that many shadows you can't complain. I did stop at Morphe, of course. I had to stop there and I saw that they were going to be at Fame. So I picked up a palette that I've been wanting for a long time as well. Just haven't gotten around to picking it up. So it is the Morphe 24G Grand Glam Palette and it looks like, let me take a little protective sheet. It looks like so super pretty right huge eyeshadow pans and the payoff on these i've been using this all week beautiful 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 so um we'll definitely use this palette today along with some other eyeshadows that i picked up that i'm super excited about 
I'm going to start by picking up this light shade here and I believe this one is creamer. So picking up creamer and placing that in the crease and start off with that. So this, I'm gonna pick up a Morphe brush. This is a Morphe R37, I wanna say. The color, the number is super worn off so I'm just going to but I'm just picking up with any blending brush that you have will work good and I'm just gonna work this as a light transition shade to start off this look I kind of already have something in mind that I wanted to do so just I just want to make sure that I have very nice subtle transition shades to go in with the darker deeper shades that we're gonna go into right now to the second color over to that which is Frenchy and it's more of like a mustard a brown color and just to warm up the crease I'm going to go ahead and place this in there right below that transition shade with a Morphe M511 brush so I'm just going to go ahead and pick this up I'm going to so y'all can see what I'm doing and I'm just going to go ahead and place this all over the I'm going to go in with a Morphe R38 brush now, and I'm going to go into this palette is huge, so it's super hard to <laughs> see. I'm, like I'm going to go ahead and go into the next color here, which is Moho, and I'm just going to pick that up, and I'm going to work this very carefully into the outer part of my crease. I'm kind of bringing it in a little bit, but not too far in, so just working that right here in this area, and just blending, blending. It, this area is going to get super dark in a minute, so I just want to make sure that it is nice and blended with these colors. So I'm going about halfway here. M504 brush. I'm just going to go ahead and start blending this outward. So just blending this here just to make sure we don't have any harsh lines. And this is a clean blending brush. Just want to make sure everything is nice and set for the darker shades we're going to go into. I'm going to go in with something a little bit more defining. So going in with a Morphe E18 brush is you get this very small dense precision brush and I think I'm gonna go in with the rest stack for this one because this one I really want to deepen up the crease. And I'm gonna go in with um, rot and I'm just gonna take a little bit onto this brush here and tap off the excess because it is super pigmented and kind of start working this in this way here towards my crease only. So I am going to do a very cut crease. I want this to be super dark. So just laying this down and putting it outwards. So you can see there it is going to look a little harsh at first, but we're going to go in and soften it up. So don't be scared. And just doing the same thing on this side. the difference this one super tiny compared to this one it's a little bit tinier than that so just to get a very defined precise cut crease line here I'm going to the chain and just bring it in very dark here 
it's a very like I wanted to define this creed so I want to make sure it's super dramatic and super defined and when I go in with concealer to clean up the creed I know exactly where to bring this in so just going in and defining the line even more Shades. I'm just going to start cutting this out all the way across so that's a nice even cut crease. So starting here, you need to take your time with this, there's no need to rush. I just want it to be an even cut crease. for the the cut creases I'm going to grab the shades that we're gonna be working with which I'm super excited because I stopped at Amy's I got the Dose of Colors Block Party eyeshadows and I'm super excited to try these um, I did try one of them already and I haven't tried the other one yet because you know I've been experimenting with so many so much different makeup that I got that I haven't had a chance to so I'm super excited to try one of these out. Um, so the colors I got are Lock and Key, which is this color right here. So you can see it comes in a cute little compact. I thought it was super cute. And then this is the shade here. So that's kind of like a bronzy um, copper shade. Super, super pretty. Swatches beautifully like on the back of my hand so you get to see so you see how pretty and bronze that color is it's just beautiful so love that shade and then the other one I got is all of you and it is this pretty again compact um, little thing super cute and it's this pretty like um, light green color super gorgeous do you see that and this is the swatch there so super super pretty colors super reflective oh my gosh I'm telling you when you're in the sun curl. your eyelids are glistening so what I'm gonna do we're gonna use both shades today so I'm going to go ahead and pack the all of you first and I'm gonna do this on the outer corners and the inner corners of my eyes do is just place this here. I'm just going to place this really on the eyes here and doing the same for the inner corner. And it's recommended to use this with your finger so um, a brush, you could use a brush if you really wanted to but it is recommended with your finger. So just lightly pressing this in to the area of the cut crease and see just how pretty that color is like so gorgeous. 